Hello everyone. So welcome back to my second section of this course, Docker. So in the last section, we tried to answer the question of why use Docker. And uh, we eventually said that we use Docker it because it's really easy to install and uh, run the software on your computer. We are not going to try the answer, the other big question here, that is what is Docker? Well, this question is a lot more challenging to answer. That is what is Docker. Anytime you see someone refer to a Docker in a blog post or an article or a forum or wherever it might be, they are kind of making reference to an entire ecosystem of the Docker. So if someone say, oh yeah, I use Docker on my project, they might be referring to a Docker client, or Docker server. They might be referring to a Docker hub or Docker Compose. Again, these are all project tools, piece of software come together to form a platform or an ecosystem around creating and running the something called container. So your immediate question might be okay. Well, what is container? So that's a good question. That is a question uh, that we are going to try to answer throughout this entire course. Just a moment ago, when I ran the command at my terminal on Docker run Redis and went through a little series of action behind the scene. And uh, we are going to examine that entire series of the action very closely over time. But for right now, let me give you two important piece of terminology. When I run the command, something called Docker, I reach out to something called Docker Hub. And it's downloading a single file called an image. An image is a single uh, file containing all the dependencies and all the configuration required to run a very specific program. For example, Redis, which is what the image that I just downloaded was supposed to run. There is a single file that gets stored on your hard drive. And at some point in time, you can use this image to create something called container. A container is an instance, an image, and you can kind of uh, think it, uh, it's a being like a running a program. We're we going to go into a great details over time, over behind uh, to learn exactly how a container works. But right now, all we really need to understand is that a container is a program with its own isolated set of hardware resources so kind of its own little set of its own little space of memory and uh, have its own little uh, space of uh, networking technologies and its own little space of uh, hardware drives as well. Okay, so I did not really answer the question here of what Docker is, but uh, we did learn at least that uh, a reference of Docker is really talk about the whole collection of project and tools. And we also pick up two important piece of technology that is a uh, Docker image and Docker container. And now this uh, image and container absolute backbone of what you and I are going to working with throughout the rest of this course. So let's uh, take a quick pause right now. We are going to come back to the next sections. We are uh, going to start uh, talking a little bit more about how we work with the image and container. So quick break and I will see you in a just uh, in my next uh, section of this course. So till then, Tata and bye-bye. Thank you.